Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling a challenge that many developers encounter when working with WPF applications. Our viewer is trying to automate a WPF data grid using coded UI, but is facing difficulties in locating a specific control within a nested data grid. The viewer's question highlights a common scenario. They need to find a row in a data grid but their developer has implemented another data grid within that row. This complexity is causing issues when trying to automate the interaction with the controls. Let's dive deeper into the specifics of their code and the challenges they're facing. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you get through that resolution. So, let's continue on. To begin addressing the issue of finding controls in a WPF data grid using coded UI, we need to understand the structure of the data grid. In this case, there is a nested data grid within a row of the main data grid. First, let's look at the code you provided for finding the main data grid. You are using the WPF table class to locate it. Ensure that the class name is correctly specified as UIA.DataGrid. Next, you need to access the specific row within the data grid. You can do this by creating a WPF row object and searching for the class name UIA.DataGridRow. This will help you identify the correct row. After identifying the row, you can access the cells within that row. For example, to find the first cell, use the WPF cell class and specify the class name UIA.DataGridCell. Finally, to interact with the toggle button that reveals the nested data grid, ensure you are correctly referencing the custom control. If you encounter an exception when trying to draw a highlight, double check the class name and the control hierarchy. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To find controls in a WPF data grid using coded UI, specify the row and column indices explicitly. Add the row index to both the WPF row and WPF cell, and the column index to the WPF cell. If you have multiple rows, ensure you qualify the row index. After setting the search parameters, calling rowgrid.findMatchingController should return the expected controls. Here's a sample code snippet to illustrate the process. Finally, to interact with a toggle button, create a WPF toggle button instance and set its properties. This approach should work effectively for your needs. And that's it guys. We've gone through, found the solutions, and hopefully answered your query. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, hope you have a good one. Cheers.